Let me show you the high availability configuration of Proxmox virtual environment by having shared distributed Ceph storage, which is reliable, scalable, and cost effective. Right now, if you see on my data center summary, I have these three nodes PVE, PVE2, and PVE3. In data center, total virtual machines and LXC containers on all these three nodes are here. So, how many are stopped, how many are template, and how many are running. And down here, you can see the combined resources, combined resources from all these nodes. And here you can see the node utilization also, the server IP address, CPU usage, memory usage, and the uptime. And here, if I show you the cluster, these are three nodes within this cluster. Simply click on join information so you can add new node to this cluster. And most important aspect is the Ceph storage that I have configured. In this particular Ceph storage, you can see that there are three OSTs. These three are connected and they have created a distributed volume in all three Proxmox nodes. If I show you here, here is SyncBricks Ceph on PVE node and PVE2 node also. SyncBricks Ceph storage is available. And here I can show you the summary also. 57 GB or 64 GB was in fact the storage. And here, same you can see on PVE3. How it has been configured, I'll just quickly show you. So here the Ceph information is available. And you can see these are the services which are running on these nodes. So all three nodes are working as the monitors as well. And two of the nodes are working as the managers. One of them is active right now and one of them is on standby. So in case anyone fails, of course, other will be able to manage the Ceph storage. And here you can see performance, read and write performance can be seen, total usage can be seen. How this Ceph storage looks individually on all the nodes, if I click on the node and here I can show you Ceph. Information is available here, but if I show you the monitor, monitor service is running on these three nodes and manager service is running on two nodes. And here are the OSTs which are available in all the Proxmox nodes. These are in fact the three different SSDs or hard disks that I have installed in all three nodes. So OSDs are object storage daemon and these object storage daemons are installed in all three nodes. Once we install these OSDs, then we have to create the pool. The moment you create the pool by clicking here, you in fact join all these OSTs and it creates storage pool. This storage pool is shared between all the three nodes and in fact it is replicated between all three nodes also. The moment there is any change, the so change is replicated across all these nodes. What is the benefit of that? The benefit is that you can do the migration without any downtime. For example, this particular server which is Windows Server, it is having a hard disk on this Ceph storage. And if I want to migrate this server from here to here, within few seconds, it will be migrated. It will not have any downtime. Suppose here, if I show you the console. So this is Windows Server, which I'm running. And here I'll ping 192.168.240.1, which is pfSense or gateway and dash T. So it will continuously ping here. So if I want to migrate this on real time from this PVE3 to PVE2 and click migrate, it will not have any downtime and it will not migrate in fact the hard drive, it will only migrate the server state which is in the RAM in fact, you can see here that the RAM is being migrated without any downtime and you will see within few seconds so it started on 23 seconds now 20 seconds it has taken so far and within within 20 seconds the whole server is migrated from pve3 to pve2 without any downtime you can see here ping is continuous without any delay here you can see there is no delay and i can simply again migrate from here back to PVE3, from PVE2 to PVE3, migrate it. And you will notice I'm not skipping this, I'm not doing fast forward. On 21 second, it started 239 and 21 second. And here 
14 seconds, 17 seconds. All right, so you can see here again in just 27 seconds or 17 seconds, it has migrated back to PVE3. If I close this, you can see from PVE2, it has again migrated to PVE3 and there is no downtime. It is running without any ping break even. So this is the benefit of using the Ceph storage on Proxmox and creating the cluster of three nodes and then installing Ceph on that makes your life easy. If you want to know how I have installed Ceph storage, step-by-step -step guide is available. So I have provided the link in the description where you will understand how we can step-by-step -step configure Ceph on the Proxmox virtual environment and how we can create the cluster of multiple nodes. So let's continue to the next video.